Okay, so I'm working on my Dayton right now currently, and I've already replaced the fuel line. Uh, there was no real point in videoing that since it was more of a pain in the butt figuring out how to route it in there. I, ch I slightly changed the routing of how it was uh, routed through the whole tractor. Um, I bought some more stuff from the parts store. Um, finally got me some of this fuel stabilizer for one. I just got it sitting over there. I got my gas can filled up with, with gas, super premium, high octane petrol, and I got some of the stabilizer already in there. So it's mixed around. I got oil, Scotch Bright, that's for the Murray. I'll explain that later. Um, of course, you know, I've already bought the fuel hose. Bought 10 feet of it, and that's all I have left. <laughs> um, I'm going to give this thing an oil change. The fuel line's already in place, the new filter's already on. Bam, look at that. Brand new fuel filter, brand new. Even got brand new uh, hose clamps. Um, about to drain the oil here in a little bit. Uh, the new fuel shutoff, petcock, and grommet are in place. I don't know how well y'all can see that. There's the fuel shutoff knob. It's currently shut off. And that turns it on. So it's all in new. Went in pretty easy. So I'm pretty happy about that. Nice and tight. No gas in it right now, it's still empty. Um, I had to take the plate out because the fuel line runs straight through here and they can't see too well because of the black glare, but there's little clips right here that helps hold it in place, keeps it from sliding around. And there's the fuel line up the front with the carburetor. New hose, uh, hose clamp there as well. Now I'm gonna uh, this oil drained out here. See how nasty it really is. I, I can only imagine. It's got to in there. Oh, gross. Yeah, it's. nasty. I don't think I've ever changed the oil in this thing to be honest. <laughs> Just, uh, that, right, that right there. Yeah. <laughs> now I need a rag. I just finished up on the Dayton. I uh, took it for a spin. <laughs> Did freaking great. Um, I know I didn't video any of that but uh, it was really windy and I didn't want to wait for the wind to die down to play on it and video it uh, so I just went ahead and just did it um, but see she's sitting over here now um, <laughs> I was a moron and didn't uh, think about it when I went to start it the fuel shutoff was still off so I was like oh yeah so I turned the fuel shutoff on it's it filled up this pretty quick and it I actually had to take the choke off to fire it it wasn't wanting to start with the choke on I took the choke off it fired right up uh, I drove it around the block a little bit uh, I just got back about five minutes ago but um, she runs great freaking beautiful My headlights still work and everything. I know you can't really see it, but they're on. Headlights still work. Drives great. Freaking awesome.
Ain't no sense doing another drive around video since I, uh, I already did one of those a couple of years ago. But freaking Dayton rocks. I love this tractor. Um, runs great. Still doesn't look, <laughs> still not one of the best looking tractors I own, but <laughs> who cares? It's a beast. It's got that cast iron transaxle, uh, four speed. Love it. It used to actually save. You can barely read it at all. 16 horse, four speed transaxle. Of course, it's got a 20 horse in there now. But, uh, yeah, freaking love this thing. That, the GT18 Sears um, front axle swap I did a couple years ago. The, uh, of course, the, the Sears tires also from the front of that is on there. This aftermarket MTD brush guard I bolted on a while back. I, I, st I haven't done really much to this tractor in the, all the years I've owned it. I never got around to putting exhaust on it. Out, wanted to run exhaust out the sides, but just never got around to it. You know, it's just one of those things. Um, but hey, there's that. Um, still working on my Murray. Um, that's coming along pretty nice. Um, I've got the handle. I took the handle off. Um, I painted it. Um, like I said, I was going. All, I'm going all out on this thing. Handles are repainted. Uh, I've got it scotch brighted, smoothed up, and everything. I went ahead and repainted back here around the sides where the paint had chipped off. Went ahead and I touched this up too. I shot it with black paint, so it looks all nice and new again um, went ahead and took this sticker off right here that said three in one combo discharge mulcher whatever bullshit um, gonna put some coats of lacquer on it make it shine up real good put the handle back on you know all that good jazz and then the um, this is the cover I'm putting on it more squared off. It's not the greatest looking one, but it looks better than that ugly one that it had on there. And this is the uh, belt drive cover, and it's got this crack, and it. it's been like that ever since I've had it. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna fix this and glue it, melt it, and I'm gonna put like a piece of sheet metal or something over it, make it nice and strong. Um, about it. That's that's really it so far. Um, I'm not gonna finish the Murray today. It's it's getting pretty hot out. Um, <laughs> I'm already got sunburns and everything. And well, whatever. Um, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more. Hopefully, I can make more videos this year. Um, just. Hang in there. That's all I can say. Thanks.